right, 20 minutes after noon on this Wednesday afternoon. We have been tracking some water spouts out on Lake Michigan, but the window to see those now beginning to close as the atmosphere becomes just a little bit more stable and we see some sunshine and the winds really aren't as active out on Lake Michigan. A couple of showers right now off of the lake shore there in Racine and Kenosha counties have been monitoring some weather service chatter. Not very impressive when we look at the rotation and some of these showers. You're just not seeing the red meeting the green coming together and just a tight couplet. That was something we were seeing in a couple of the scans on radar, but I pointed the camera back towards uh, Kenosha down to the south and to the uh, east from Racine, which is where the camera is on top of the courthouse. 59 degrees there. The dew point at 55. That northeasterly wind right now at about six miles per hour. We do have a number of 64 in Milwaukee, upper 50s, low 60s, a little bit farther inland. Talk about a fall like afternoon across southeastern Wisconsin. The temperatures today topping out in the mid 60s along the lakefront. Maybe another degree of improvement in Milwaukee before we start to see those numbers slide back into the 50s here later on tonight. Of course, we've got the final Milwaukee night market in downtown on Wisconsin. Wisconsin Avenue temperatures will be falling back from those 60s into the 50s. So high pressure is here. It's here to stay, keeping things nice and dry for our Thursday and our Friday. But the center of high pressure starts moving off to the east and we welcome in some southerly winds. So that is going to warm things up for us towards the end of the week into the 70s near 80 degrees by the time we get to Friday. Now I know you saw that rain coming in from the west. That will be arriving on our doorstep. It looks like early Saturday, 10 days until fall. And I was just telling Simone, got some breaking news. We have a second county that has been added on the travel Wisconsin fall color map. St. Croix right. County just east of Minneapolis. How about that, uh, Simone? We've got Forest <laughs> County as well. We don't have any changes, at least on the travel Wisconsin map across our neck of the woods. We won't see the peak of fall colors likely until the second or third week of October 70s. As we wrap up the work week again, we'll watch for that chance for a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder on our Saturday. And then we've got more sunshine as we head into early next week. All right. Thank you, Brendan.